Hi guys, Will Terry here. Um, going to answer the question today in this video, a uh, question that I get from a lot of artists and they ask me, should I go to art school or take art classes online? And I feel like I'm pretty qualified to answer this since I teach both at uh, a university, uh, teach illustration at UVU and I also teach online. Um, so I'm going to toot my own horn. I had to do that. Okay. So before I do that, I'm just going to say that you can always check me out on my blog at willterry.blogspot.com. And I usually have a link for it down below, but today I have a link to our online school, SPS. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to say about this question is it's really an unfair comparison because it's at, it, we're, we'd be comparing apples and oranges. But I think there are some things that, that uh, are worth looking at and, and making a, a few comparisons on. I'll just give you some things to think about. Uh, so first off, let's look at price. Um, so on online, you could spend anywhere from a thousand to maybe three or four or five thousand dollars, and that would pretty much give you everything that you could probably utilize online. Um, compared that to a, a state college, where you might spend twenty-five to thirty thousand um, dollars, and that's even if they have an illustration program or an animation program, um, to well over a hundred thousand dollars if you're going to um, an art school. So there's really no comparison on cost. Um, I think the probably a better thing to look at is what type of student are you? Um, and I think this probably makes a lot more difference on on what you plan on doing. For instance, some people are super motivated and they can just, um, you know, they love to draw, they love to paint, they love to create, and they're doing that every day. Um, and it's it's not hard for them to, to push themselves. Um, and I've probably in, in my career only known, oh, a handful of people like that. I was not one of them. Um, a handful of people that really actually, uh, a couple of my friends went to art school, uh, went to an illustration program, and then they were better than everybody there. And then they just quit because they felt like the school really couldn't offer much when they saw what the competition was like and they thought it was a waste of money and they ended up becoming illustrators so the first thing is you could do this it's possible to do this without any art training it happens I would say that that's probably less than one percent of artists that are working so the odds are not in your favor if you, if you choose to go that route um, the, the second type of person really is maybe there's maybe there's actually three types of people there's there's the, the person who really um, was never encouraged to be an artist from their parents or um, who were, were actually discouraged to take to go into art as a career and and for those people because they're not encouraged they probably aren't spending as much time drawing and painting as they should be and some of those people find um, find their art motivations and their, their art career later on in life some people go back to school some people have uh, done well in another another profession and then they decide to go into art um, and I know some people who have done that very successfully um, there are people who um, might be at, at a college situation like I was and I just went to uh, to college to learn uh, to, to I didn't know what I was going to do and uh, I started taking art classes just to kind of bump up the GPA and um, and at that I've, I've talked about this on videos before I couldn't spend more than a couple hours working on any one drawing or painting and I would just get frustrated with it and I would get to where I wanted to move on to something else or do something else completely and I couldn't work all day um, and that was more of a developed habit that I that I developed over time so there's all types of students I would say that if you're really motivated you'll probably do better you could probably do better or you I'd give you more of a chance of doing better in, in doing online school only. I would say that most people um, would probably probably need one of the things that you get when you go to a university um, art program or an art school program is you know you're gi you're given deadlines and and that forces you to accomplish so you you know you you have the time uh, often you're supported if you're young you're supported by parents or um, you're you're at least encouraged to go to school to, to college from parents um, and so you have all this time 
that you're supposed to be working and and on your art projects and so um, I would say that's a big benefit of going the traditional route going through um, a, a university program or an art school is that you will um, you'll have the time or you should have the time and you should have the the assignments to kind of help you get through it to kind of force you your way through it and I would say that maybe um, any at any one year maybe half of my students at the university really need those deadlines because without them they aren't doing a whole lot of work um, and uh, and I think you really should be working towards the point where you don't need to be given an assignment where you can actually give yourself an assignment if you can get to that point you can definitely do a lot better with online learning and online schools okay so there's that there's the type of student um, and then uh, let's see what else um, classmates so I would say that typically like one of the biggest advantages of going to an online or I'm sorry a, a university or an art school would be the fact that you have classmates especially if you're outgoing especially if you can make friends you will learn just as much if not more from your classmates as you do from your teachers so that's a that's a huge bonus of of working um, going to a going the traditional route uh, I know that in in our SVS classes we're encouraging our students to meet together online to, to create Facebook groups and things like that but it's not the same um, going out with friends uh, you'll talk about things that are going on in class um, you know you'll you'll be able to challenge each other's opinions and things like that and again over a four or five year period where you're with these people every day and you make these friendships that can last a lifetime uh, there's a lot of learning that's going to go on there and a lot of, of um, techniques and principles and things that are going to be reinforced through your friends so that's a huge feather in the cap of going the traditional route. Another one that I have to say would be an advantage of going um, to traditional university would be um, for the traditional techniques, seeing paintings done um, up close, seeing demos done up close of traditional mediums. That's really hard to reproduce online. Um, digital painting is pretty easy to teach online. Uh, we do a lot of that but uh, we haven't started the live stream yet and uh, I don't know anybody who's really doing that super successfully yet I think there's a lot you can do online um, I do know that there's a lot of videos of traditional techniques so we've got some at our folio Academy but um, I think there is something to be said for being there and having the teacher looking over your shoulder and having the teacher be able to take your pencil or your paintbrush and actually paint on your painting or draw on your drawing um, that's a huge advantage of going to school okay um, now one that I would say is kind of works in the favor of online school is location uh, and finances because if you a lot of people live in an area where um, you know their local university doesn't have an illustration or an animation program so they so that's one uh, maybe they don't even have a university in their town um, and going to an art school may be prohibitive cost-wise but it also might prohibit you if you if you just don't live anywhere anywhere close and you just can't afford it that's the same thing you can't afford to get there um, move relocate and all that kind of stuff <clears throat> we actually have a lot of students in other countries who can't find what they're what they're looking for in their own hometown a lot of times what you'll also what we also see is that um, some universities will We'll teach like a Photoshop class, and I'll, we'll have students that come and take our Photoshop painting, and then they'll say, um, "Gosh, I didn't learn anything about painting in Photoshop in my Photoshop class." Well, no, you're not going to, because a Photoshop class typically, you know, university is going to teach you how the tools work, and what you'll find online from a lot of different um, uh, online schools, such as Control Paint, you got Lampost Guild, Chris Oatley. Um, you got classes from Bob Ostrom and New Masters Academy and Schoolism and our Folio Academy and our own SBS. Um, and the thing that you're going to find at those more than anything else is they're going to teach you how they paint. So you're going to have master artists teaching you their tips and their tricks of how they use Photoshop, which is very different 
from you know anybody saying you know this is the crop tool this is how the crop tool works this is the paint tool this is how the paintbrush works and um, so they're very different you know how I use the paintbrush is going to be very different from how someone else is, uses the paintbrush and so the cool thing about online is that you can pick and choose you can cherry pick your classes you can say I want to learn from that guy I want to learn from that girl I want to learn um, this technique or that technique I want to learn this so that I can go into a studio situation and um, and so there's a lot of things like that um, that you can pick and choose your teachers and so that brings me to probably the last thing at least the last thing that I can think of and if you guys can think of anything more um, I'd love to see what you think in the comment section but um, probably the last thing that I would say is is um, a, a real consideration is the teachers and uh, just kind of touching on that more. And I really look at it like this. There's four types of teachers out there. There are those that can't. In other words, they, they can't paint or draw and they can't teach. And unfortunately, there are some of those teaching in the university setting. I haven't seen anybody online doing that, that, that I've found, because I think online, it's much harder to, to get away with it. Um, I don't think that you'd find much success if you weren't doing a good job. I think the, the accountability is kind of, inherent with online teaching um, so those that can't and that can't teach and then I think there's some that can't really do but they can motivate and they can inspire and I've met some of those and I've seen some of those and those are really good people and good teachers to have in your corner where they understand their limitations but what they do is they put you in front of um, or, or expose you to the right things and the right um, oh maybe they'll bring in uh, aids from from outside of class and they'll they'll uh, get you to look at the right things and maybe they they understand or, or can synthesize and and put more together so as an artist they, they have sensibilities but maybe their artwork isn't as as uh, impressive as it could be and then I think there are those that can but they can't teach and there's unfortunately there's a lot of those uh, in the university and in the art school uh, setting um, I hope I don't make any enemies by saying that, but it's true, and everybody pretty much knows that that's true. There are some people that uh, do beautiful art, but they won't give the student the time of day when it comes to um, to learning. Either they're afraid of sharing their techniques uh, because they think they'll be copied or whatever, um, or they just don't care. Or, in some cases, um, the university has put so many um, so many restraints or so many demands on their time uh, with meetings and, and committees and all sorts of different things that they just don't have time to give students. I've seen that happen a lot, time, a lot of times before too and that's a shame when that happens because the whole reason the university exists is for the students and then the students are sometimes the last ones that get thought about um, and that's that's the nature of the beast unfortunately in, in some situations and then the fourth group is there's those that can and that are great teachers and I've seen a lot of those both in the university situation and in art schools um, those that really care um, I've seen a lot of those online and I think those are the people that you should be looking for more than anybody and the, the hardest thing to do is to actually know I mean you can't go up to somebody and ask it like I know you have great artwork but are you gonna really spend a lot of time teaching me and and taking me under your wing and and maybe going the extra mile and spending time to help um, help me understand concepts that I'm not understanding, help motivate me, help say the right thing, work hard on your lessons so that you're actually bringing something to class instead of just saying go paint, you guys, you know, and turning everybody loose. And um, and, and that's the thing that uh, you know I, I would suggest that if you're going to go online or if you're going to go to an art school or to a university. You really need to do your homework. Um, just because you're paying over $100,000 a year for an art school doesn't mean you're going to get a good um, education. What matters most is are you going to be able to get the teachers that are the best? Because every art school and every university program has almost all four of those, those groups that I just mentioned. Um, they've got the great ones and they've got the ones that aren't so great. And so the, the question is, are you going to end up at that art school right after one of their best teachers or some of their best teachers have just left or gone on sabbatical? Um, and the same thing online. Are you going to pick, you know, you, you, you need to do your homework and, and make sure that, uh, you know, if you're taking classes online, that other people recommend them. 
uh, that have gone through them and say, yeah, I learned a lot from that. So that's that's basically uh, what I have on, on this, and I really hope it helps um, some of you make that decision. Um, I know that an un, kind of another thing that you could think of is that it's actually, in, it's, it's interesting that the, the university or the art school costs a lot more, but there's usually also aids in finding money through either grants or loans or, or savings or different things that have, that have been earmarked for that. Um, and there isn't for online. So even though online schools often cost a lot less and those classes are much, much less, it's often harder to find the money. Um, so that's, that's a challenge as well. Anyway, I hope to see you, uh, back here on my, uh, on my channel. And if you have any questions, you can always reach me at will at willterry.com. That's my email, will at willterry.com. And uh, if you have any questions about our classes or anything else, uh, drop me a line. And I'll see you on my next video.